Union. We all speak the Union. We all speak the Union. We all speak the Union. First time that the union has had an opportunity to cross-examine witnesses. I know there's a lot of talk on the jobs and a lot of anger on the jobs of what you've been reading in the local rag up here. They call it the Korea fail, not the Korea mail, the Korea fail. With every breath that I have, I'll always stand up and uh, and fight these buggers because at the end of the day, the rock is starting. We need to support each other, the solidarity of this union and the strength of this union is what's going to keep this country moving. This point. I speak, I'm also the president of the Mining and Energy Division, and I can tell you that though they can't be here, every power station, every mine, every paper factory, every timber mill, they're watching it on live streaming if they can, they're scanning the press, they're looking at the social media, they're talking to their mates, because they're behind each and every one of you. United we stand, and we will prevail. The building that we're standing in front of, was built by the sweat, the skill and the blood of Australia's construction workers. And this Royal Commission is sitting in there to send a message to all of you. And that message is that they don't think that we should have the right to be here, united, together, to stand up for our rights. And I say to them, no amount of power, no amount of privilege, no amount of intimidation will ever take away our right to a strong, effective trade union movement, our right to a voice and our right to political protest. country, sticking up for their rights, protecting them on safety, and what it is, just political witch hunt to, to run the Abbott agenda, which is to bring work choices back. You know what the reality is, not the make-believe, is that the trade union movement in Queensland is a strong movement, it's a clean movement. Oh,